Yay! Hi friends! Welcome! So I want to play Alien Isolation from the beginning and it's been a long time since I played it, like two years ago. Um, I actually saw my uh, live stream export from the last time I played this in 2016 and I was playing literally with no camera and no mic. I was just playing the game. <laughs> so I think my stream has come a long way since two years ago when I played this and I definitely don't have a full playthrough of Alien Isolation on my YouTube yet or anything like that so um, I think this was one of the first games that I played on PS4 so I just wanted to start from the beginning and probably I won't remember too much uh, I don't even have a PlayStation camera so Uh, let's not do that because then every time I have commentary then the alien will come and get us <laughs> Okay, let's go to novice because I seem to remember it's really hard uh, We'll see if novice is too easy and if that's actually the case then we'll come back and try easy <laughs> Okay, yes Tell us very barely visible I'm glad we're here now. All right, I think that on stream, it's harder for you guys to see. Hey, it's Blue Glacier. Hey, friend. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm glad to be streaming early enough for you to, to catch the beginning of Alien Isolation here. Yay! So uh, recently someone, every once in a while, I'll get someone who asks me to turn on the subtitles even though they're English subtitles and I don't really like the look of it, but I mean, I want to please people that can't necessarily understand the game audio. I'll just leave it on for now, but I'm curious if the subtitles bug anyone else. Oh, you're headed to work? Okay, friend. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day at work. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Classic. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. Hi, doggy. This is my favorite customer. Oh, Blue Glacier, thank you, friend. Last survivor. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> yum, yum, Signing yum, yum, off. <laughs> One of my most loyal, long term viewers here, Blue Glacier. Thanks, friend. You're so sweet. <laughs> Yay. All right. Have you guys seen Alien the movie? Insult your intelligence, but I don't want to assume either. But I love the Ripley. movie and I love this game. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. Hello, Samuels. It's about your mother. We think we may have your found her, Amanda. Nice, you're so sweet. Me too. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a... Uh, Permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We. Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk. I read the case history. And? I know why you're working.
working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Maybe Thanks. There'll be some closure for you. Fucked up. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Yay, friendship. Thanks for popping by, friends. Nice to have some company right off the bat. I love this type of like old school console. Like in games, like, <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of people that try to hit this sci fi style, like, but no one quite like Alien Isolation. Start time to explore. Do you pronounce it Giger? I never knew how exactly to pronounce it, but I never thought it was Giger, but then I was under the impression that's how you pronounce it. Honestly, when I first saw Alien, and I, when I was first introduced to Alien Isolation, I didn't know that his art was the inspiration for this game, not at first. Geiger. Okay. <laughs> like, MacGyver, only Geiger? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's right. Wait. What's that? Oh, oh. Yay! All right, we haven't done this in a long time, but I really fell in love with this game. It was one of the first PS4 games that we actually bought. And we have all these PS3 games, however, they're not all, um, I don't know, I need a different Elgato if I wanna play PS3 games. So I'm glad that we have this one because I wanted, I've been wanting to play this again. It's been a long time. Really? A Geiger uh, museum in Germany? I would love to go. Hey, harmonica, can I play it? I was practice my walking around and not getting too fast. <laughs> Let's try not to jerk around too much. I'm working on my camera hand with the controller. Oop. <laughs> All right, uh, do we have to close up for something in particular? All right, that does do that. I don't think we need to do that just yet, but let's just close it for now and one thing is I would get lost in some of these, but I played all the way through it and then I played the DLC, at least I think it was the first DLC that came out. But yeah, that was like two years ago, so we're going to do a little recapping and stuff. Verlaine, Verlaine, you on the lookout. For a navigational officer, I have a friend that's just lost his ship, and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacore undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the small company, smaller companies. And I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Waylon Yutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them, join them, right? Alright. <laughs> Cute. That's all I can do with that. Oh. Just making sure I didn't have a PS I love you or anything. Hey, Graham Weldon. What's up, friend? Yay! Hey, thanks. <laughs> I was, like, trying to look all cute and professional. Professional punk rock streamer. <laughs> we 
when you don't like actually go out and party, but you still want to stay in and like play dress up sometimes. <laughs> Save station. Oh wait, emergency. Save it. Yay. It's, yeah, it's only 11.55 p.m. All right, so I think that, is there really only one that I can save? I forget, like, I think it like saves over whatever you have like, you know, moved forward and then you uh, eventually use some, lose some of your progress if you save over it. Almost 8 a.m. for you, sweet. Yeah, this is actually pretty early for me <laughs> lately. All right, um, let's just take all. Take it all. Basically, it was like explore. All right, let's try to re remember, because I seem, I seem to remember last time I got towards the end of this game, and like I uh, had finally memorized the map a little bit, but like in the beginning there was a lot of getting lost. So hopefully my subconscious kind of remind remembers how to use uh, this whole uh, station and stuff. Get dressed now! Zzz. <laughs> Hell yeah! Objective complete. I put my big girl pants on and everything. <laughs> Japanese texting game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, where was that on the... Look at that cute little light. Alright, let's see. It's Japanese over here. <laughs> Why did I sue me? Nice. Ew, do toilets still overflow even in this here space station? Personal storage. <laughs> Some of those characters look like happy faces. <laughs> and on the locker. Nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, hey, there it is. Do you know what that word stands for? Does it say locker? I think we're clean enough. Hey, we already have our shoes on. Perfect. Ready to go. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't see any wet footsteps, so I guess it's not too bad if you get dressed and then take a shower in this game. No problem. <laughs> Alright, this is actually the way we came in. Did I miss anything in here? One last round. I think that's all. Alright, so one cool thing is, like, remembering where the map is, which is just the middle button. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so speak to Taylor. Up here to the left. Taylor Swift, I presume. Oh my gosh, you guys. Have you all played this game before? So spooky. I love how it would like keep me on edge for the longest time. And uh, a lot of the time there's like not anything to be afraid of, but when there is, there's also like no way to like fight back <laughs> like the aliens uh, they'll just get you there's no like fighting for your will or anything hey kitty oh here comes the cat Go, girl. friend Taylor good morning Ripley it's certainly not good I very much doubt it's morning either <laughs> sorry morning for some I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, so crazy Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him We did it. We spoke to Taylor 
She didn't piss us off once. Cheerios, corn flakes, bran flakes. This was before gluten free was like in style, so looks like all gluten, glutinous types of things. <laughs> Hey Taylor, I got your case requests. Oh. Might take me a while to dig out the files of the incident before wait. Uh, happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland Yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before. Seven in all. All seven of them. So I guess I think that Ripley is the, her, our character's mom, I believe. Okay. Wayland Yutani lost a lot of money from it, and it's a bit of black market in history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Um, outbound and return transportation for Wayland Yutani retrieval consists of three WY employees. Okay. Interstellar communications antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber. Commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a row rig. Oh, a tow, tow rig. Retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Hell yeah, alright. I feel like I read all this stuff the first time I played it, but I kind of just want to explore. It's been a couple of years, and I'm just curious what I might have missed before. We'll have plenty of time to look around here too. This is like the breakfast nook. Milk and butter, it's like staying at a hotel. Do they have a waffle maker? Cause that's my favorite thing when I go and stay at hotels. Uh, okay, um, duh, all right. Going backwards. One thing I, I do wish for always that music wouldn't like stop when I'm looking at maps and stuff. That's one thing that Detroit Become Human had was it was really good about keeping the music playing. All right, so either way I can go forward. Let's just forward and wrap around. I'm so scared. Hell yeah, it helps when there's see-through windows. Ah, oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. Like I've worked engineering music. jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. To the bridge.
Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. <laughs> Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Where's my briefing document? Yay. Alien isolation. I remember last time when I played it, I would get so scared that my stomach would get tight, like my muscles would tighten. And then the next day, my stomach felt like I had been doing sit-ups, but really I was just like on guard while playing this game. What's that noise? <laughs> Scary. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. Where's my briefing packet, yo? Oh, duh, right here. This glowing thing <laughs> that I just didn't notice before. All right, here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Fuck. Punch up 74. Tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> These awesome ships. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrin. Say again. Speak up. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Scary. All that breathing? Freaking me out. Pressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. <laughs> well, we sure act like we know everything. Hopefully, there's some truth to, to that. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Here they go. Do I have a guy you can <laughs> Uh, not yet. Ouch, dudes. Remember in that movie Gravity when uh, that happens to... Sandra Bullock. Okay. At least there wasn't as much spinning in this one. <sighs> I sure love this game and the original Alien movie. Okay. Ah! Oh god, 
Yeah, just like shut out your friends. Slowly and carefully. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, man. So, I guess her mom, like, disappeared on this ship that's uh, stranded. And I think... I guess we're going to go try to find out what happened to it. Ah. <laughs> uh. is right. Ay, ay. Oh my god. Just the thought of being stranded in space, it's so scary. But I guess these guys, like Ripley is hardcore. She's like, no problem. As well save. It's been a couple years since I played this, so we're recapping. So far, so good. Scrap! So easy to get a little bit turned around in here. Okay, um, oops. Primary airlock. There's gotta be help out here somewhere. Fucking A. Crawl space! Oh, shit. So cool. Hey David. What's up, friend? Just got back from Movie World. Yay! Oh, I didn't see your message yet from today. It must have been just a little while ago. Yeah, I just started streaming uh, maybe half hour ago or something. Yeah, you got back from Movie World? Sweet. Welcome back, friend.
We started alien isolation from the beginning today, so we're immersed in this scary ambient spaceship. Oh goodness. Is there like I think maybe a way to get over here more? It was good, sweets. I can't crawl over here at all. Let's go through the airlock. Oh yeah, you know we still have Detroit, but I played through it like two and a half times. And I'm not like, I don't feel like, oh, I, I'm done, done with it, but just wanted to take a break and uh, not totally sure, but um, I think I want to like buy it and play it again, like in a month or two after I'm done processing my first experience. <laughs> On the other side of the fire. I I stand up. Hold on. Hold up. Okay, R3, you gotta push in R3 to <laughs> stand and crouch. That's good to remember. Yay. Yeah, I would like to play more Detroit, but I feel like I kind of got my fill for the moment. I would like to just uh, feel it out and let it sit. <laughs> Sevasta Link. Ooh, new trailer for Spider Man. Awesome. So, boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regard to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help but it does mean overtime I recommend talking oh, taking what you can while it's available I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip everything here has to be accounted for and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal white weights Alright. Is the new Spider-Man the movie that they had a, a special trailer for the new the movie that's coming out? New Spider-Man, it's not out just yet, is it? Hey, look at a person. Oh shit. Let's look over here first. Oh. So spooky. Seem to remember there's got to be some kind of a <laughs> uh, off switch for this. Oh, the PS4 game that's not out yet. Cool. Just that little crawl space. What am I missing? I don't think I've been here yet. <laughs> Seriously? Oh yeah, isn't that uh, Spider-Man's coming out in 2019, right? Like in a couple years still? Scary. 
Oh my god, I'm glad our character is Ripley. I'm glad she's okay. I hope we find a flashlight <laughs> soon. What is this stuff? This is like mail and packages and stuff. Someone you always know working. Someone new you always know. <laughs> okay, Joe. <laughs> oh, okay. Sweet. I feel like I saw a little glimpse about it, but I, I'll have to look more into it. Because I was wondering in the game if they actually have that swinging mechanics, like how much of the uh, real-time gameplay is like that with the swinging like how Superman I mean spider-man would <laughs> be swinging around you know from the webs Scrap David have you played this game? Hit we used it by turning it off that's probably good for now. <laughs> There's this one part down the line where we'll get a, a blowtorch, and that's one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Hello? Oh, look at anyone here? Oh my god. I take a quick screenshot. It's nice. A nice looking screenshot right there. Oh, in September? That's close. Cool. Passcode required, yay! <laughs> We're playing Alien Isolation. I love this game. Oh my god. We better make the power work somehow. Oh my god. What's this? Nothing. <laughs> A bomb. Sweet. Yeah, it's super suspenseful. Maps. Low power. Now we got all kinds of power problems. Generator. Easy peasy. Link. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Hold on, let me remember that. Okay, don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Oh. Wait, zero three um four zero. Okay. We better save here before we go to go. I was like, I'll save right after I do the passcode, but we should save first just in case. I'm already scared shitless.
all the time, like I'll think about this type of game. <laughs> I'll always Isn't be thinking about this game. Work? Oh. Find a way to restore the power. But yeah, no matter what games I've played over the last couple years since I played this the first time, I was just like, oh my god. It's just, I always think about it, and when I do get to actually play it, it just makes me so happy. <laughs> Especially after a little while, and you haven't played a game in a while like this one. Sometimes the first time you play a game, it's like extra hard too. radial menu hey oblivioner hey friend hey thanks friend yeah we got um little braid in the hair from yesterday trying to keep it intact wanting to try to make an effort and try to look like i give a shit <laughs> today it's like saturday night so i figured oh might as well you know try <laughs> i'll try a bit to look presentable for stream not just Try not to look so much like poo. How are you doing, friend? Thanks for noticing. <laughs> yeah, the hair is mostly just tied back today, but the cat headphones, they were working great with the Bluetooth on my phone, but then um, they started to like do this weird thing. I gotta figure out what's up with the cat headphones. But these ones are actually nice and lightweight. And they still have like decent quality, in my opinion. I mean, they're not the best, of course, but they're better than terrible. Better than bad. <laughs> These purple headphones are kind of like log. Except for they're not big, heavy, or wood. It's just that they're better than bad, they're good. Hell yeah. Alright, um... We restore the power. Hmm. Ah. Okay, so wait, what's the legend? Is that little. Oh, that's locked? Okay. I think he's back over there. I think it's behind us. Over here somewhere. I think we must have missed it. <laughs> oh, it's your birthday, friend? Hey, happy birthday, friend. No way. I got hearts for birthdays. <laughs> Yay. How old are you, friend, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, cool. Happy two-day late birthday. <laughs> Sweets. I hope you got some, like, free cake and ice cream or pie or something. That's always my favorite thing about birthdays is, is like, there's got to be a way to do this. <laughs> 31, cool. I'm just a little bit older than you. Restore power. There we go. There they go. Wait, save again. Just in case. <laughs> Did you do anything like go out to dinner for your birthday? Last time I had a birthday, I was like all about that cheesecake factory. I was all about that life. But honestly, that's any day, any day. I'm so stoked to go to the cheesecake factory. I try to be healthy, but all rules out the door if I go to the cheesecake factory. Chinese, sweet dude. That's sweet. I love Chinese food. Mm. 
locked. All right, let's see here. Our friends just like went through that door and took off. Like who knows where they even are now. All right. Take all that good stuff. Yoo-hoo. <laughs> Oh, am I supposed to? All right, so there's like supplies in there. Not too much else going on there. What the hell? Seriously? Let's go through the baggage transit again. So awesome and creepy at the same time. Still looking for help and whatnot. Personal terminal, okay. Uh, all right, so we got this other cool level now. <laughs> oh, mine's in December, December 1st. So I'm a Sagittarius. All right, let's, I guess, go back down in here and see. I think we did everything that we can up there, but we're gonna find out. What? Adam is maxed out? Okay. You can climb through some of these, just not all of them. This part reminds me a little bit of Half-Life. <laughs> is that, is AIDS Day on December 1st? <laughs> nice. Classy birthday. I'll bet they came up with that idea uh, after I was born. <laughs> up here hey <laughs> it is AIDS day nice I'll be like eating cake and opening presents on my birthday and people with AIDS just like be bummed out hey <laughs> I can get free condoms on that day <laughs> From where? Like the porn store? <laughs> Damn it. All right, I guess we can't climb through there. I feel like, I don't think I should be going backwards so much. Oh, they hand him out? Nice. Yeah, they celebrated uh, Pride around here recently. I think they do similar similar thing. They'll hand out condoms and stuff for Pride. Hell, I used to live in San Francisco. Almost any festival, they can probably find free condoms. <laughs> something else I need to unlock through that computer up there. Oh. 
or up here. Well, there's the passenger lounge. Hmm. Something terrible. Hey, hey there, Easy. What's up? Hey. What's up, neighbor? <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I got to move to be closer to Seattle a year ago. Finally celebrating my one year anniversary in Washington. Uh, this is on a space station. So maybe there's some uh, Russian uh, history. Um, about uh, the space <laughs> stuff that went wrong here. Uh, Alien, remember the movie Alien? This is kind of like inspired by the movie. Oh, Sevastopol is in Russia? Damn it, all right, hold on. I thought I could get around this way. <laughs> oh yeah, Kitty is sleeping right here. Oh yeah, Facebook friends of the day. Oh, sweet friend. Oh yeah, I think I met you from the Twitch uh, Twitch TV streamers Facebook group. Thanks for stopping by my stream. I was wondering if you ever go to PAX or anything. Because when I moved here, um, we had like gotten here just in time to go to PAX on Sunday. So I didn't get to go the whole time. But we like, uh, also they were sold out. So we had to go walk around the streets and like find some tickets for sale. But I really liked going to PAX, and uh, when when I can, uh, done the um, the meetups that happen over at GameWorks in Seattle. But I've been to four of them, but then I missed the last couple. Vidicom. I played this game two years ago, so I'm kind of like recapping. It's been a while, so I don't remember the whole thing, but I definitely played through and played the DLC. Oh, now we're talking. Door locked. Ion, ion torch required. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, where do we find that torch, friends? Hmm. It's around here somewhere. I heard that everyone goes to packs around here. <laughs> It's cool just how many game developers and streamers live in Seattle. Oh, look at this that thing. Yeah, I, I recommend it. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, they're not gonna see us. I already know what happens, no matter how hard you try, there's no way you get to get their attention. Damn it! Her friends just fucking took off with her. We saw them run out the door, and there's no catching up with them. Eventually you just see them driving off like fuck faces like that. They're just like, yeah, whatever, see you, Ripley. You're teaching yourself web dev, sweet oblivioner. Did you say that it's like PHP that you're doing, or...? Oh, oh, the cat is sleeping on the table right next to me. She's all rolling over and being really cute right now. No JS, sweet. Oh, I don't know. She's really cute, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to compete with your cute doggy. Last time I was like wrestling with the camera to show everyone how cute the cat was. I accidentally unplugged my mic, so I'm just gonna let you guys know that she's sleeping right next to me. I would show you, but I don't wanna like accidentally bump a cord. <laughs> Sweet JavaScript. Nice. Yeah, they got um like WebGL is the type of stuff that I like working with uh, when it comes to web stuff. I like using Unity for WebGL. Of course, my dream is to be a game developer, but it's still gonna take me quite a while. <laughs> right when I think I'm like getting ahead, I'm just like, you know what, I hardly know anything. 
I could make like a story, like a story game, but to code, uh, that's what my partner's really good at is the C-sharp programming. You always know, working Joe. Oh, thanks, no game. What's up, friend? Nice to see you. Thanks for noticing my hair. <laughs> I added some pink like a week ago or something, but then uh, I tried to braid it last night, and it didn't turn out too bad, so I just tried to keep it intact. Man, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get past all this stuff right here. Maybe if I crawl? Luckily, the alien's not even after us yet. I think I searched the whole upstairs, so let's keep on looking around. So creepy. We need to find an ion torch somewhere. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I really like scary games, but this one in particular, like, I would always find myself bringing it up while streaming other games and uh, recapping in my mind about how much I love this game. This looks open. Alright, there's got to be an ion torch in here. If I was an ion torch, I would totally be in here. Dude, that's like the only thing that'll touch you and not kill you. I should have ducked. Hmm. Here she is, David and friends. You guys see this little kitty right here? Look at <laughs> Uh, one moment, we're having a kitty break. <laughs> oh, how was my day? Thanks for asking. Just uh, chilling, trying to get ahead in life. <laughs> Just working on goals and um, yeah, we started this stream pretty late today, so I wouldn't put it past me to sound a little tired. <laughs> What about you, friend? Did you do anything cool today? I've already been here, but is there something else in here that I missed? And or where is there an iron ion torch? Harris Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down. Kill the power and don't forget your reports. Make them through. We're going to need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's out. Damn, guys. The working Joe androids will be there to serve Sebastopol soon enough. Good luck, everyone. It's like a friendly goodbye. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. I love Sevastopol. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I still like chicken better on pizza. But I know how much you love that steak pizza, friend. So I recommend whatever you love. Or the veggie pizza, that's always my favorite. Okay, guys, so this is already making me feel a little tenacious and nervous. I guess I'll save. Hmm. Find a way to 
on the station to contact the ship. Print logs. Hmm, let's see here. The second time was not nice. What do you mean? Hell yeah, you did a lot of sit-ups, friend. Sweet. And moving heavy boxes. Cool, friend. I've been going to the gym a lot lately, but the last couple days I didn't really go. <laughs> well, I went yesterday, but for a short period of time. He's rigging forth. Hey, friend. Hey, nice to see you. Finally caught me, friend. <laughs> How are the kitties? I got Alice right here saying hi. You're starting on dieting? Uh, what is your diet gonna be like? Okay, where's the ion gun, friends? Damn it. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Let's find it. It's gotta be an ion gun just sitting around somewhere. Sometimes I think I just pass it, you know, pass things like that by. Oh, cute friend. Did you already find them families to go to or the kittens? You found them recently or? Ruganforth here is a fellow streamer and game developer, and his cat totally had kittens a, w a little while ago, but I was, like, following along the whole story, like, before the kitty ever had the kittens, and they're finally, like, growing up so fast that they're already going to the new homes. Of course, I want one, but one cat's kind of, like, stinky enough. No offense, Salas, but... Oh my god, can I- Hmm. God, I wish I could get across. So, what up, spank dog? Hi. It wasn't nice? Was the- Was the steak bad? Sugar free stuff! Sweet, sounds great, friend. Sounds like a smart idea. Good plan for diet. I've been trying to do that uh, ketogenic diet, but I'm still eating a little bit of banana and strawberry because I love fruit so much. But mostly I'll do a lot of veggies and salads and stuff. Oh, you posted a message? Oh, 2,000 people interested in the kitties. <laughs> Cute. Damn it. All right, guys. Where's the ion, ion torch? Is it upstairs? I already went upstairs earlier, and I couldn't fucking find it. Pardon my French, but I do mark my stream at shirts mostly because of my vulgar language and occasional adult humor. Portion control. Yeah, and, and like not having the processed sugars and stuff like that. <laughs> Manly, sugar free. <laughs> uh. Okay, what did I miss? Alright, we gotta go down this side and see like, did we miss something that's over here? Like this door? Restore the power. This game is so awesome. All right, some of these assets, they look a little bit similar, so sometimes I might get lost, but look at these. I had not seen the air hockey until now, so. Sorry about that, David. That sucks. 
You need to lose 10 pounds to join the Navy? That's crazy, dude. I feel like as soon as you go into that routine of like a boot camp and stuff, that you would like gain so much muscle mass, like the fat would just like turn into muscle right away. Channel five. I've always loved air hockey so much. No, signal. So depressing. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Rugen Fourth has baby kitties and um, I've been following him on Twitch for some time and uh, his cat had kittens a couple months ago and so I got to see them when they were newborn. But now they're already old enough to like find new homes. So crazy. Ew, written in blood. Wenched. Wait, oh, we need help. What am I missing? Run around Rex. Cute. Alright, was that power? Huh. What the hell is that noise? Oh my god. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's turn up that audio a little bit. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an <laughs> angry crowd. Pelted a by projectiles? Fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. They really like to catch up on this ship. Alright, so scary, friends. Healthy meat. <laughs> oh yeah, David um, tried this pizza. He said that it was a steak pizza, but that the steak pizza wasn't all that good. <laughs> that it was good one time, but the second time he got the same thing and it didn't taste as good. But I know David, and I know that uh, in the past, he's, his favorite was the meat lover's pizza. All right, let's save. Ew. Oh. Oh, take all the grease off of it. I hear ya. The ketogenic diet says that fat's okay, like healthy fat. But I still don't. I still try not to eat too much of fat. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers and, the, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Going back to the meat lover's pizza. Yeah. Sometimes it's better to just stick with what you know you like. To all spacecraft terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the pers uh, prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly. From the Office of Marshal Waits. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors, provides guidance for the Sig Sigskins, wait, Sigson working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station. 
So wherever you are, you know you're safe in safe hands. Sigson tomorrow together. Oh, wait, pulling the plug? I'm scared. All right, we gotta go down there, but uh, let's just save one more time because we read all that stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it matters uh, that we read it yet, but just in case. Sometimes you'll lose noticeable progress if you don't save after every few steps. But right now, we're not freaking out just yet. I haven't even seen an alien yet. Which is good, because I don't want to. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm all about that pizza action. It's way too late to order pizza around here, though. It's like one in the morning already. Damn, dudes. I didn't find an ion torch... Nor have I found a flashlight. Scary. It's like as if he was just here, all these lights are swinging. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Let's try to memorize these crawl spaces since. Sometimes the crawl spaces are all we have to help. Uh, is that correct? I'm like second guessing myself. All right, I think that is actually the one that we. All right, never mind. <sighs> Oblivion. There's people fighting outside your window? No way. Are they your neighbors or... Sorry about that, dude. I, I always get so stressed out when it sounds like someone's gonna, like, get shot. Cat is sleeping right next to me. She's like going for her little pets. <laughs> Aww. Okay, new area. Oh, scary your neighbors. The in game commercial on the wall? This one? Cup of Joe's. Stay perky. <laughs> That's what it says. We'll take a picture of that for the scrapbook. That sound design is so awesome. It's like a big scary mechanical rumbling. This whole damn place is falling apart. Eh, I got his smile. I got coffee here too. I got my cup of joe right here. <laughs> look, friends, look. Look who it is. It's Harold. I love Harold too. Look at how cute. What else is written there? What did I miss? Have you got the cup of Joe's smile? <laughs> there, that's me practicing. <laughs> Wanna join, join the colonial marshals? Help us make our corner of the galaxy a safer place to travel dot work dot live dot Harold did he like turn on while we were walking <laughs> look you gotta like come nudge around this edge I remember the first time I played this and that was like not obvious at all 
But I remember that part, how I had to like kind of go around Harold and kind of like really inspect him. <laughs> so awesome! I oh the R two O two. I like to call him Harold. I love crawl spaces and stuff like this, friends. Like in Half Life and Soma and Bioshock. Like anytime there was something that reminded me of Alien Isolation, I'd be like, "Yay!" <laughs> It's like one of the first PS4 games that I played was this game. So I had quite a bit of like, you know, fond memories that started off from my experience playing this game. <laughs> Boot to the head. Heck, <laughs> kick it. No. Harold, no way. We're not gonna kick Harold. Kitty's being so adorable. <gasps> oh god, what the fuck? It begins. I love getting closer to the scary parts because this game is so good. It's so effective. <laughs> like getting me right onto the edge of my own sanity. And just like dangling the dangling me there by one last thread of sanity. <laughs> oh isn't she cute? The the rumbling through the rafters is getting louder and louder. Some of this definitely reminds me of Half Life, but in a different way. I think there's at least one thing about every game that I play that will remind me of Alien Isolation just because of all the good memories. Wait, what do you mean no game? Don't leave. <laughs> Aww. Why the crying faces and boots to the head? I thought you meant you wanted me to kick Harold. Oh. But now I'm not sure I know what I thought anymore. Harold and <laughs> Unclaimed baggage? I would love to go in there. Now I need a plasma torch. Oh. Yeah, I was telling chat how last time I shifted the camera to show them the cute kitty, I accidentally unplugged my microphone and couldn't figure out why it worked, why it wouldn't work for like a half an hour. So I'm not moving my camera around so much right now, but you guys, I gotta pet the cat for a second. She's being so cute. <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna take a quick break, friends, and I'll be right back, yeah?
Hey friends, all right, we're back. I'm really happy to be starting this game from the beginning again. We need to find all kinds of torches to move forward in life. I'm back, I'm back. All right, sweet, so good thing we're night owls because it's like one in the morning, but it still feels pretty early to me. I'm just barely starting to feel alive. <laughs> All right, fuck, guys. All right. Three working nights? Oh, yeah? I feel your pain, friend. Are you in the Midwest? I mean, the uh, on the East Coast? We're, like, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah, we do, like, uh, freelancing work from home usually, so... Of course, streaming is like my dream career. So on the weekends, especially, I like to try to make time for my streaming career slash hobby. Central. Sweet. That's got to be the exit up ahead. This thing. And we need a maintenance jack. Get through the main door. We need jacks. We need torches. We need lots of stuff. All right. Um. What is all this stuff? Over? Really, sometimes you oh these are these fucking body bags on the ground. Get out of town. Rarus, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Oh my god. Every creak and just hurry the fuck up, will you? So crazy. Alright, how do we get to the front door? Hell yeah, so I feel like when you play a game like two or three times in a row, then it's like best chance to memorize the maps and stuff like that. Um, I played this, I think I played through it twice, but I definitely also played the first DLC. Um, but it's been a couple years now, so I'm stoked to be back here and playing again. some progress here. Hell yeah. Can't exactly tell what just happened except for a thing that this opened. Have you guys all played this game before? It's definitely one of the most impressionable games for me because uh, it was one of the first PS4 games that I played. I think like GTA 5. And then this were the first two games I played on PS4. Damn it! Where do we find the maintenance jack? So yeah, I had even though I had played this a couple years ago, I definitely don't rem like remember the map like how I did as soon as I finished playing through it the first time. Hey, look at cartoony nudie like magazines. <laughs> Creepy. All right. Only we could find a maintenance track. That both of these go down into that room. I have a feeling like the maintenance track gonna be over here. Usually, uh, things like that will shine kind of like yellow around the edges. But sometimes you gotta kind of get close to it before it'll flash and get your attention. We need the maintenance jack, we need- oh my god, look at it. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. I don't want that to be us! You only watched walkthroughs? Cool, friend. Yeah, sometimes I'll be too tired to play a game, and so I do the same thing. I'll watch a bunch- oops. Um. Hmm. What did I miss? We need to open all this stuff. There's gotta be a maintenance jack down here. Fuck, dudes. Not the mill room again. Alright. Maintenance jack or ion torch.
See how, like, sometimes things, they look kind of similar? Like, there will be, like, two rows of all those things. I okay. I feel like there's new music over here, but remember that door? I mean, we bet. Oh my fucking god. Something just broke overhead and, like, crashed around us. the radio on trust no one let's take a picture of that for the scrapbook <laughs> especially if you're on this ship dude I would not trust anyone or anything I'm kind of open to a slight bit of spoilers if you guys know where to find an ion torch if, if you remember where that is or the jack thing just let me know I'm open to some tips. <laughs> I already kind of know the story, but I'm also open to tips about the story. If anyone has any um, fun facts or details about this game or the studio that made this game. Tom, what's up? Hey, welcome. We just restarted Alien Isolation earlier this evening. First time playing it in two years. But I did play it and the first DLC a couple years ago. And right now we are looking for a maintenance. Uh, there's We're looking for a couple of tools that we have not found yet. So looters will pay. Sometimes that's what games are all about. Looting. <laughs> Yay. Oh, you you just made it past the first alien sighting. Usually is so too tired to play at night at home. Is it because it's so scary? I can see where you're coming from, dude. If I was by myself playing this. Hey, do follow. <laughs> hey, thank you. Welcome. Christian, hey, thank you for the follow. That's nice of you. <laughs> cool. I'm always uh, going to bed and waking up thinking, boy, wouldn't it be cool to be a Twitch partner one day? Well, I have a really long ways to go before that's going to happen, but uh, I definitely appreciate the support and new followers, uh, all that good stuff, because it gives me encouragement and you can rely on me to check in and be around here on like Twitch and socials. I usually post every day on like Twitter, Instagram, and then I stream between three and five days a week usually. Sometimes more. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Yeah, anyway, the maintenance check, where is it? Lock up. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. So we had at least one drunk on the ship <laughs> who dropped the maintenance jack somewhere by a door. Where did you say that was? Reverse, it's Turner. Had to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the <laughs> Tom, with a hell yeah. Jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. He wants to lock himself in. Screw him. Oh, dude. Oh. Drugs. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Wait, what? Hold on. Sleep it off. Oh, hey, thank you so much for the host. Hey, thanks, Krim. What's up, friend? I appreciate that. Welcome. Yeah, we totally had a flare, and I didn't realize until now that we had a flare. Remember this, friends? I'm starting to remember this. This is how you build your weapons and stuff that you need. Oh, yay. Thank you, Krim. I'll stop by and say hi when I'm done on your stream, too. I need more of something. Oh, oh, L1. I 
Alright, well that's how you do that. <laughs> Alright, we gotta find that maintenance jack. Oh, thanks, Krim. Oh yeah, that's no problem. Yeah, I got a late start today. I think it was already 11.30 or midnight or something when I started streaming. <laughs> Man, you can never really... I, I'm not really a regular schedule, regularly scheduled program. <laughs> I'm more like a stream whenever I can type of person. Part of me wishes I could maintain a more regular schedule here and in general, but... My personality type, I'm a little bit ADD and also have a hard time sleeping. So whenever I finally do get to sleep, I'll usually stay asleep as long as I can. Which is like max eight hours and that's like if I'm really lucky and nothing wakes me up. Um, however, when I'm not sleeping, all I want to do is try to learn how to make games and, and actually make games and stuff. Alright, what am I missing, friends? There's got to be that maintenance shack by the door, he said. So creepy. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I like to stream whenever I can, just like how I'll sleep whenever I can. I wish I could be like Monday through Friday from 6 till 10. But it just, um... It doesn't really work that way for me. I wish. A lot of Conan this week. Is that a PS4 game? I've only seen people play uh, the Conan Exiles. I haven't actually played it, but it actually looks cool. I like the look of that game. Fuck, dudes. You don't see any weapons, no torches, no... Ut oh, I feel like I'm missing it, wherever it is. This is where he told us about the, the guy dropped the maintenance jack by the broken door. Alright, wait. Oh, maybe by this door? No, wait. Hold on. Hmm. Super fun, nice. That's good to hear. Hey there, Till. What's up, friend? Hey. Fuck. All right, hold on. Where is that maintenance track? It's somewhere by a door. We heard about it on an audio log. Yay. You guys can uh, protect me from this scary game. Oh. Here we go. Whenever I'm like, can't find this or that. And then it's like right around the corner. I know it's got to be in here somewhere. Look at a big joystick. <laughs> and these big joysticks. This reminds me of Soma. Look at that boombox. Look at crawl space. That sound is so, like, nostalgic. Those, like, crawl spaces, like, oh, sliding open. Fuck. Wow, she just did some ASMR in our ears. What was she crying about? Like, or whining? Oh, because we got locked in? Oh, wait, look. There's the guy. There he is. All right, crawl space it is. The dead guy, most likely. <laughs> That's probably what she was reacting to. Eh, there till. I guess so. I played it, but like two years ago, so. Just like knowing that there could be a, a rare jump scare around the corner at any point, like, that's enough to get me all nice and tenacious. All stressed out in a good way. Ew, we dropped on his blood and stuff. Yeah, we need this for like key cards. His ID tag, yes. Maintenance jack. <laughs> One of those sensitive I types. This more than you do. So ironic, cause he's dead. 
So she thought she'd be funny by saying that she'll need it more than he does. Rolo, I want to make <laughs> a complaint to the, the highest authority, okay? My name is Zachary Watson. This is the yes, drunk guy. Watson. You get that? Watson. <laughs> gotcha. Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us, and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Braces Locked on down. the doors. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. Mostly it's like putting my nerves like on the edge of my seat. It's like not scary as much as it is like nerve wracking. I love my cat, dude. She's been so sweet to do. All right, well we got that thing. Fuck you, braces. Well made. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I wish that I had played, like, most of my favorite games, I kind of wish that I had the attention span to play through it, not just once, because I can always get through a game once, but if I could play through a game front, like, start to finish, like, three times in a row... I would feel like I really got the gist of it, you know, but like I'll usually play through once or like Detroit recently. I played through it twice and then I was like, oh, I'm ready to set it down. You know, I don't want to play it like a third time right away. I want to like let it simmer in my memory for a while and then go play it again. So this one, since I hadn't played it in two years until we started it today is pretty exciting. Interview subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. Scare you. No? I think he's saying that he wants to blame Tough someone. Guy, huh? Turner, turn <laughs> yeah, some the... feelings. Yeah, I might get some hey, tingles. When she like whispers in our ear, she's like, oh, fuck. I got the tingles when Ripley did that. Okay, through the main door. Shit, dudes. Wait. Oh, that's for, for healing, right? All right? I think we're good on that for the moment. Come here, sweetie heart. Come here, girl. Hell yeah, we can remove all the braces. Pringles, Prim. <laughs> Stay still. Okay. That was a person okay. with a gun. Uh, turn around. Oh, uh, right on, Rugen. Rugen for it. Come on! Totally. Good call. Oh, that's like a meat tenderizer. Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blew just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. So scary. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Oh. Oh, yeah. the kitty is being yeah. so cute. She came up. Something's on this station. What is something? You wouldn't believe. Like what? Like aliens? Like you get it? It's okay. aliens. Okay. What's your name? Axel. Axel I was Rose. Two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. I mean, why? What's in it for me? Oh my god, dude. The place is on the ship. He, want, he, need, he wants a blowjob. Or else he's not going to help us. I need <laughs> to find comms. 
I need to contact my ship. He's like, what's in it for me? Like, what are you insinuating, dude? This is your lucky day. Really? I wouldn't exactly call it lucky. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? Uh, obviously, we don't want to trust you, dude. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Do I have to activate this thing? Alright, that's for my health, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll admit it, I wasn't really listening to him. What did you say, dude? That's that guy. Okay. The last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, so we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing voices everywhere. Are we going everywhere? Every creak. Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Do you have a plasma torch, buddy? Come here, dude. You can help with this. I know he's like, come on, let's do this. And I was really kind of trying to listen through his drama as to like what he wanted to do. <laughs> Oh, duh. Is that you following me back there? I have to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. John, this is Ringo. You're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Janet. Hey, Casey, what's up, We're trying friend? to get to comms. Can you help us? Uh, we don't need their help. <laughs> don't tell them anything. Look. Yes, I made you laugh. Sweet. Jana, let's go. Okay? I, I'm sorry. Good luck. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared, keeping to their own, safer that way. Seriously, dude, you're such an asshole. You like these? They're actually my older headphones because uh, I thought they still match my my outfit. <laughs> and the cat headphones, they work great with the Bluetooth, but there was something weird where the wasn't working with the streaming software for Let a moment. The but these ones are working just fine, so I was like, eh, I'll just Allow use me. these ones. Place is old. Needs a special touch. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Hit the button. I'm waiting for you to not be such a dick. Space flight terminal to freight shipping. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Seriously, right dude. Right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat. All <laughs> braid each other's hair and chat. I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. 
A scary monster? You're so tired, friend. Okay. Thank you for hanging out, love. And I hope you have sweet dreams. I hope your neighbors are gonna keep it down so you can get some shut eye. Thanks for hanging out, friend. I'll, I'll see you next time. Maybe tomorrow we'll be back with the same game. I'm not sure what what's happening tomorrow yet, but hopefully I'll be here. <laughs> hey, Casey, nice banana. <laughs> I guess scary banana. <laughs> Remember that one in uh, South Park where uh, Randy Marsh is like caught Shit. watching, uh, yeah, using a computer? <laughs> Get down! It's just bullshit, man. You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. My friend said he saw it. The sun is taken away. If we see Trouble. We just run. We'll have to go random. So scary. Follow me. What the hell? I really have to follow you, dude. Wait. Oh, there you are. Oh, no. No boots. <laughs> boots of the head. That's an interesting Friends of yours? saying. <laughs> I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers. Even have nice a good one, like love. Me. I'm shocked. I boom your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Don't touch my chain. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. <laughs> You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Hey, his butler's on holiday. You don't know when you'll get another chance. That's what I'm gonna say next time someone comes over and I haven't cleaned up. Sorry, my butler's on holiday. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship, waiting for you. Hey, look at it. Is that Jim Beam? Oh, ethanol. It can get pretty <laughs> I'll dark take around it. here. You should take that flashlight over Toothpaste? there. Toothpaste? Oh, a flashlight where? Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Dude, I've been waiting, waiting all day so far for this. Flashlight. That looks like a headset to me. That's a flashlight. Just be careful not to flash it around. <laughs> you don't want to get caught. Let's go. Save station. This way. Hey there, Gabe. What's up, friend? Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hell yeah. I haven't played this game in two years, but I'll never forget it. It was like one of the first uh, PS4 games that I played when we got the PS4. And it's like so impressionable that all the other games that I've played since always... Something always makes me think about Alien Isolation. What now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I'm at it so I wouldn't forget it. Let's find the vent. It's right here. It's right here. How about you look around? We're not going anywhere until you find that vent. It's right here. Oops. I guess uh, wrong vent. <laughs> you go on without me. I've changed my mind. All right. Let's see what else is in this room. So spooky and dark. Have you played this game, Gabe? There it is. There's a vent. Is there any batteries around? So spooky. You have also been thinking about it lately? At first I was thinking, oh, I'll wait until Halloween, you know, it's a scary game. But then I was like, you know what? This game is scary all year round. I don't have to wait to, you know, wait till... Halloween. 
There's a lot of scary games I would like to play around Halloween, but honestly, uh, it's like the, the nerve wracking like tension that it like kind of builds this tension in my chest and my stomach. Like I feel like I'm kind of clenching out of um, just like so scared of a jump scare, even though it's actually mostly just chill right now. <laughs> Hasn't even gotten to the scary part. Haven't even seen an alien yet, but just the not knowing, like, freaks me out. Hey, look at it. And a key card. Tag, I mean. And something? Batteries? This place gives me the willies. Thank you. If this place gives him the willies, oh my god. In the middle gear solid box? <laughs> Good one. There's a couple of these things though that we, we actually came through. Damn it. Oh, hold on. Okay. I think we were like meant to loot this area a little bit. Um, we came through one of these. Where did I gotta go? This place. There's this one and that one. I can't remember which one we came in, but I guess not that one. <sighs> Alright, there it is. He's just standing by it. Thanks, dude. I know the sound design, especially. I agree. I'm taking notes because I'm trying to make a sci fi game for the web and uh it's pretty damn cute so far but i really wanted to study this a little bit more did you hear something i heard all kinds of things dude he's like did i hear something probably the voices in your head Say what? Oh. I thought you said Chester. Is that guy's not following us? <laughs> okay. Uh, there's some other crawl space that he mentioned that's in there, but I'm not sure which way. It's been too long. I don't remember. All right, buddy. All right. Up over here. Oh God. It's so dark. Axel, is Locked. this it? Hold on. They're coming. This here, buddy. Help. These. <laughs> I knew it was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. You do? You do? Alright. Can you do it in the dark? Come on. <laughs> oh, real Mr. Taco? Thank you so much for the host of seven viewers. Hey, friends. Man, I gotta get my taco emote, like, ready to go. It's not smart <laughs> to stay here too long. <laughs> Everyone travels around here. Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. <laughs> Hold on one second. The real Mr. Taco. <laughs> Thanks, Ren. <laughs> Sweets. Welcome, friends of Mr. Taco, who's Sorry, a very so supportive, awesome streamer. He does like a variety of streams. Hey, Ben. Quiet. Thanks. Right back at you. Yeah, yep, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. 
There's always something going down. Come no on. Shit. We don't want to piss him off. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Follow me. Yeah, this is one of my favorite PS4 games, and I wanted to recap and play it again and um, use the save station. Uh, I wanted to recap because I'm trying to make this like sci fi uh, space girl game for the browser. And I always think about this game whenever I'm playing any other game. Like, I just always think, oh, that reminds me of Alien Isolation. Hey, new follower. Hey, thanks. Quietly. <laughs> Yay, welcome. Appreciate that. Come on. Someone will send help to you. Hold up. Mistress Puff, cute What's the name. Thank Someone you for the follow. Everyone stay alone. <laughs> Your gun's tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. See, I haven't played this in a couple around, years, but it was one of my favorites and ever since like it made such an impression yeah. that I'm Do always kind of on. thinking about the take sound on. design and the sci-fi art in this game. Now. Let's try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, you'd have to check it out. You smaller than what should I do? Unplug the generator? Which one of you checked our supplies last? I did. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, I, I don't want to get spotted, right. but someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Damn it. What about the lock Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. We gotta turn down, turn off the generator, I guess, to get their attention. Hey there, Abyssal Zombie. Hi. Nice to see ya. Run screaming. <laughs> I have a really hard time being stealth because I'm so kind of like... <laughs> I like to just run out into the middle of danger, but this game taught me that sometimes stealth still is a good thing. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you for joining the stream. Generators die. All right, let's it uh, just get off? back no. to that guy. Somebody's here. Check it out, everyone with me. Anyone else see something? Oh, oh no, right here. <laughs> Ouch. Where's my buddy, dude? I thought he had my back. God damn it. Hey, asshole, I thought you said you had my back. You're just sitting there. Hiding is only a temporary solution. I'm on easy right now. <laughs> I like my games easy, like my women. Just kidding. Kramer played this and ran out into the middle of Alien holding a flare. <laughs> Are you serious? He ran out holding a flare and the alien ran away? That might have been a bug. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm a huge Kramer fan. Quietly. All right. Fucking a. This guy obviously does not have my back. What's the emergency? Jerk. Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't Thanks. know. But the generator's the in that room. Too many of them to take on. Take on? No shit. We've still got to get through there. The door at the end. How? Let's Turning off the stash. generator. The generator. If that went down, you'd have to check it out. You smaller than me. Oh man. Alright, let's try right. to be nice and stealth. Which Find a way to, to distract them. I did. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the Nightmare fuck is mode? that supposed to mean? Oh my hey, god. Been with me the whole time. I'm trying to have a good time here. If I played this on nightmare mode, I'm sure I would actually have nightmares. And I would probably make almost no progress. Because I would probably just die. <laughs> I would probably die a lot if I was playing on nightmare mode. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? A goddamn All right, let's see if we can get out of here and go hide before they see us. What the fuck just happened? Generators died. 
Can I hide right here? No, somebody's here. Check it out. Everyone with me. I feel like I'm supposed to like swoop right by them to hide after I turn it off. But I think what I wound up doing here is hiding in the back of the generator room. Wish me luck. Who's there? No Come one. Out. Doesn't seem to be broken. How would you know, Einstein? If the generator had blown, there'd be smoke. Well, it's not working now. Maybe the safety got tripped. Oh, no. Could have been a road. Got stuck oh, and set off the safety. A rat. Sorry. Big fucking oh, rat. That. It's not too bad on well, Agamemnon. No. Someone is Maybe after we play through it the second time, the then I'll um, try it on That's nightmare mode just for shits and giggles. That's why we've got guns. Come on, help me find the switch to get it started again. Oh my god, they're right there and they don't even the see me. That? We don't like strangers. You've been warned. Oh, god damn it. Alright. After we turn off the generator, how are we supposed to escape out of this room? Then, um, so we'll turn off the generator and then I'm just trying to look around these guys. God, can't we be best friends? Panels in the floor? Okay, thanks. Oh really? Yeah, I was thinking about playing this during October for Scary Game Month, but then I just couldn't wait any longer today. I decided to just go for it. If you start on the hardest difficulty, you never know how bad it is in comparison. <laughs> That's true. Okay, go be quiet here. Don't shine that I wish I could say that I'm like a seasoned FPS player, but honestly, I still kind of suck at my FPS skills. Quietly. So partially, even though there's actually not that like you know much shooting in this game or whatever, it's just uh, the skills that some people gain What's while playing a lot Someone of uh, FPS over Everyone the years. I feel like I still need to get better at my gameplay know. skills before that would be a I rational option to start with nightmare mode. <laughs> they are Damn it! Too many of them are take on. Take on? We still got the other right, is there really panels on the floor over here? How? Okay. So if I distract- oh, there's a fucking panel right there. Thanks, friend. I didn't see that panel the first two times. <laughs> oh, I can't see soon. Great. Costume quest. When you checked our supplies last. Hi, Dave. What's up? Let's get out of here. Decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This so no creepy. I love how creepy this game is. Oh god, what the fuck? Follow me. Let's keep it down. It's still close by. Man, he just like ran by like a straight up like creeper right there. Also kind of like a clicker. <laughs> Oh, oh, a game actually that's called Costume Quest? That sounds adorable. Makes me think of Cat Quest. What's Costume Quest about? Is it a Flash game? Oh, uh, you get better by failing? Oh my god, Rugenforth. You spent eight hours on a single spot before progressing? Is that when you chose Nightmare Mode or Easy? That wasn't this game, was was it? Was it a different game? There's a lot of games that are really hard to me. <laughs> Even Ori in the Blind Forest, I could almost not get through any of those levels without cheating and trying to look up a hint. This one, at least, I haven't had to Google search any answers or anything, but I do wander around quite a bit. Okay. I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things always get lost when a station's closing down. Don't worry about customs either. Sinclair's told me his men turn a blind eye. They'd probably be too busy goofing off or talking or taking back handlers to notice anyway. You get what you pay for, I guess. Nearson, Leonard, you're both first shift on the doors, so read carefully. Putting this together wasn't easy and 
we don't want intruders getting in because you don't read the instructions properly. This here is what you call a two-man rule lock. This means it needs two to open the door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure every everything stays secure, and none of us decide to head off in their own, on their own without uh, with all the stuff. Not very much trust on this ship. When you're on shift, take it take it in turns to keep guard and notify uh, the other if one of us needs to be let in or out. That means just us, no one else, no matter how much anyone begs, and no matter what sob story they try to tell. I was with a group before we got soft, and now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. Look at all those canned food and stuff and aspirin. God, I'll take the toilet paper. You guys can have everything else. Oh, it's a game by Double Fine. Okay, thanks, friend. I appreciate that. Cool, I'm down. Costume quest. Sounds adorable. It's only $3? Okay, I'm sold. A random example. Good call, Regan Forth. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get, you know, when you choose. In God of War, the boss took literally eight hours. Oh my god. Hey, Nimai. <laughs> hey, no screaming yet. Thank goodness. Mostly just forgetting to breathe. Alright, um, oops, sorry. Uh, sorry, Mr. Whatever your name was again. Um, it's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. He said asshole. Got him. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. Okay, okay we're gonna do that double console thing together. I don't think it's the computer. I think it is. Okay, I'm ready. ready. Two man switch. On three. Here we go. One, two, three. Axel, behind you. Come on. Behind you, dude. Well, I guess he's got some enemies. Save Axel. Fuck you. Get here now. I've got the thieving son of a bitch. Oh my you god. Think you can take what you want? Get the fuck off me. This is my place. My Oh my god. Oh, dudes. Sucks to be that fuck. guy. Let's go. The others are on their way. Oh my god. We need to go. No. Hey you bastards. Move it. Shoot him. No, oh, don't shoot me. Dead. They killed him. I didn't shoot him. Axel killed him. Come on! Cutscene. You killed that guy because he was going to kill me. You saved my life. This. You're is welcome. Survival. Do you understand? I'll scare you. I don't know what I believe or understand anymore. Look at this fucking awesome screenshot. <laughs> I hear something. For the scrapbook. Axel. On me. He's not real, dude. That's silver blood. I don't think he even realized that he was like one of them. Maybe he did. I don't know. What the hell was that thing? The transit station. That little hole right there. That reminds me of in Bioshock. I keep moving. So many things make me think of Alien Isolation. Oops. Ew, is there anything else in here I gotta do? Oh my gosh. Alright, well I'm glad that we have a flashlight now. So many times in life I'm like, oh I can't wait to 
get to the point where I have a flashlight. Luckily, we got a flashlight. Oh my god. Call transit. Remember the transit station? Here we are. This is a pretty extensive transit station, too, by the way. So scary. You can tell that thing's coming closer because of the music. Oh my god, please get here any minute now. Subway. Hurry! He just backs up like that and that's how we get in. What if it didn't stop? I'm glad that um, it wasn't just me who spent like eight hours on a boss before. I don't know about straight up eight full hours, but there's definitely a lot of games and bosses that I did not make it through because I wasn't on easy. I think that's partially why I, by default, do the games on easy these days, just because it's um, one of those things. Collect blueprints for to craft different improved devices. I'm all about that life. Okay, Siegson Communications. We can do this, friends. Yawning. Oh my god. I feel so lucky when the, the kitty, um, and I can't really see her, but she'll probably bite me if I tried to show you the cat. But she's sitting right next to me and being so adorable. Alright, let's find Siegson. Really, you're hearing static on it? On the stream? Bomber. Really? There's definitely some electric uh, sparkles that are popping out that kind of sound static -y. I'll be so sad if I have to quit streaming due to uh, issues. <laughs> it was really intense while loading. That sucks. Um, yeah, the audio stuff is over here on the left, and the PlayStation is over there um, behind the computer. It's fine now? Alright, let me know. Because it sounds great to me, but it always sounds different to viewers. There is actually some static in the game. It sounds like electricity. That right there sounds like static. But I know that sometimes there is a problem. It's not just when loading. I can try restarting the stream. Alright, thanks for letting me know, friends. I'll try restarting. 